wood deck construction defects. Buying a house with a new deck. Let's take a closer look at this deck. Deck Evaluation Checklist The North American Deck and Railing Association has published criteria for good deck construction practices. Critical areas include ledgers, posts, footings, beams, deck boards, stairs, handrails, and connections to tie together all the parts. The deck may appear to pass the cosmetic test for an untrained eye. Unfortunately, future hazards and homeowner heartaches will prevail. Let's look closer. Close observation of deck material construction and connections quickly reveals the deck builder's creativity and ability to improvise, but sorely shows lack of knowledge and short-sightedness in terms of durability and stability. This deck was recently constructed by a handyman house flipper. An unsuspecting home buyer may be awed by the new deck and visions of entertaining and barbecuing for guests. Decks can be an extension of the indoor environment and an area for people to relax and congregate. As always, the devil is in the details, so let's look at the details. A bag of sacrete to support and stabilize the wood deck joist is not a good standard practice to follow. I wonder if the 4x4 wood posts are embedded in a concrete or what type of connection may be hidden. Wood in direct contact with concrete is never a good practice. Look at the red arrows. Car jacks are not an acceptable form of intermediate deck support. Ledger plate is not fully secure to home. Separation from wall is obvious. Dead and live loads will result in deck failure. Undersized and wrong type of fasteners are pulling away. The only way to fix is to start over. A prime example of what to expect on a house flip.